Okay, so we're going to look at your coursework on should we wear, or oh sorry, should we go out in the sun? Okay, so a lot of this information is about sun cream and using sun cream. If, we, you, if you get sunburned, it, this can lead to skin cancer, and this is obviously something you don't want to get, as these pictures show you. Okay, right, straight away, I want you to pick up your um, writing frame and I want you to put your name uh, next to the candidate name and put where you're doing your coursework which is Arrowvale School next to centre name and then I want you to write down under the question I'm trying to answer is should we spend time in the sun which is the question you are trying to answer okay I want you to pause this video now and complete the instructions I've just given you okay now I want you to read this here. It says, the new information I'm trying to find to help answer the question is, you've got to come up with some questions that you might want to ask to help you answer this question, should we spend time in the sun? So questions like, can the sun be good for you? How long is a safe amount of time to spend in the sun? Do animals get skin cancer? Um, and any other good, intelligent questions you can think of. Okay. Pause the video now and complete this instruction. Right. Now you, I want you to take the OCR help sheet and I want you to read through it. Read every single bit from front to back and I want you to underline anything you think is information, is useful information, sorry. So for example, here I've underlined sunlight helps the body produce vitamin D um, and here I've Underlined rates of deadly skin cancer will treble in the next 30 years if current trends in reckless sunbathing, sunbathing are not changed. Okay, I would like to pause the video now and complete those instructions. Okay, back. Right, the next part of your writing frame asks you for uh, information and where you got it from. So what you need to do is choose three of the things you've underlined, bits of information, and write down where you got them from. I'd like you to take three from the OCR sheet and ones that will help you answer the question. So you put the information on the left and you put where you got it from on the right. Then I want you to take um, three other sheets um, and read through them. So we've got some sources like from BBC News and Wikipedia and various other places. I want you to read through those and find some other bits of useful information. So anything else that helps you answer this question. And I want you to write down the bit of information and where you got it from. Okay, and it's helpful to number them also afterwards so you can refer back to each one. Right, pause the video now and complete these instructions. Okay, now we're going to look at this section. It asks you, how useful is all the information I have collected or read in the article? Is it reliable? Reliable is the key word here. Back in the back in the 70s, the cigarette industries sponsored a lot of research into um, whether whether smoking was harmful, and a lot of the information they came up with, they were saying that smoking wasn't bad for you, right? Now, obviously, those sources were not reliable. People trying to sell you cigarettes are not going to tell you they'll kill you, so you've got to think about are the sources that you've looked at reliable? Now, OCR, I would say, would be a reliable source because it's an exam board and it's a trusted body, okay? and um, things like the BBC you might say is also a reliable source but maybe if uh, you've got something from a sun cream manufacturer they might be exaggerate the, their claims a bit so you want to be wary of things like that okay and in this section you simply write which bit of information do you think helps you answer the question best so just pick out uh, the best bit of information you think you found right I want you to pause now and complete the instructions Okay, let's have a look at this. When I look at the information in the articles I've collected, these are the patterns I've found. Here's the keyword, patterns. You are looking for trends. Right, on the OCR sheet, there are several graphs. Here's one of them. This graph shows a trend, right? It shows that as people get older, their risk of skin cancer increases and then starts to drop off again um, once they pass about 65. And it also shows you here that female cases of skin cancer, well, there are many more female cases of skin cancer than men. So that is another trend that you can identify from this graph. Let's have a look at another graph from the same sheet. Here I've got a trend, 
and it's again as you increase in age you're more likely to get skin cancer but this one shows you that above the age of 60 men are more at risk of skin cancer than women and before that age it's women who are much more at risk than men so there is another trend describe a trend that you can see in the data that's what you have to do now okay and write it in that box pause the video now and complete the instructions okay I can now answer the question that I, I have been researching my answer to the question is so you are going to write down now what you think you might say yes we should spend time in the sun or no we should not spend time in the sun or you might say the middle ground and say that um, we should spend a moderate amount of time in the sun and wear protection and blah 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 whatever you think okay the reasons I have made this decision so here just simply write down why you think that you're right about your decision now this bit here is quite important my reasons are linked to this information right you have to refer back to the information you used on the front page where you got your information from so you must use at least two of the sources e.g. my reasons are linked to blah 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 and to blah 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 so here is what you would do you would, if you've numbered them you can easily just say well reason number one is num is blah 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 and my reason number two is or reason number yeah reason number two is here so you have to link back to the front page in order to get the marks for this section okay please pause the video now and complete these instructions right and finally to get full marks in this section you need to make a comment about how your decision will affect the following people the economy and the environment now let's have a think about it how could your decision affect people well obviously whatever decision you've come to you need to give people that advice so people need to know about what's safe to do in the sun okay now depending on the decision you've made you might want to make comments about how this will affect the economy it will affect the economy in many ways for instance sun cream is a product so it may be you may encourage people to buy more of it and use more of it or or use less of it depending on what you've decision you've come to okay how might your decision affect the environment if you've encouraged people to use more sun cream then that's more stuff being bought and sold and uh, more rubbish being produced so it could affect the environment in that way um, and the chemicals in sun cream as well uh, and the processing of sun cream those things could also affect the environment so you just need to come up with three comments each of them one of them linked to people how your decision will affect people one of them linked to how your decision will affect the economy and one how your decision will affect the environment. Okay, pause now and complete these instructions.